Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Tome Tales of Magial. Um, so real quick, um, I was kind of running around town and I ran into this guy and it says, A tall hooded man stares at you. Yes. Yes. You look like a promising warrior indeed. I have an offer, elf. You see, I am an agent of the arena. I look for promising warriors that can provide a good show for our audience. Perhaps you are strong enough to join. All you need to do is meet three of my men in a battle and you shall be rewarded. You consider the offer of the mysterious hooded man for a moment. Um, I'm a little bit interested in that. I enjoy beating ass for money. <clears throat> you can feel the man smiling from inside his hood. The arena is where brave... is where the brave come to fight against all odds. We are still growing up and we lack challenges. It's like a gamble, but you use your fighting instead of money to play, you see. We in the arena work hard to make a good show, and in return, you can get enough wealth and glory to last for centuries! If you can pass my little test, uh, in parentheses, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> that eye looks like a parentheses, I'm dumb. If you can pass my little test, I will allow you to join the arena when you are done with your adventures. You shall also gather some much-needed combat experience from fighting our men, from fighting our men. So, what do you think? Are you up to it? Um... I'm kinda down for that. I kinda wanna... Again, I like kicking ass for money. Let's do this. <clears throat> the man smiles in approval. Excellent. A great fighter is always willing to head into battle. You certainly won't regret me meeting us indeed. So, are you ready to fight? Sounds like fun. After making a gesture, you follow him. Follow him! And teleport into an area to kick some ass. Alright, rock music. I like me some rock music. Okay, I think I'm in the, one of the buildings inside of the city. Um, but anyway, <laughs> real quick update. So as you can see, there's some more stuff in my hotbar. Uh, I bought an instant heal uh, infusion that gives me 40 life. Um, I went ahead and put on that eel skin armor because even though it does, it has less armor, it has way more defense, less fatigue, but it also gives me a cunning and a dex bonus, uh, as well as it gives me the ability to shoot lightning, which I'm totally down for. Um, I've also put the Summertide file onto my hotbar, and that allows me to use um, light, which I think blinds people, but whatever. So I got some, I got some more magic on my... What is that? Oh, you little shit. You're getting a lightning blast. Take that! I missed. Whatever. Overpower. Rock his day. Oh, hello. Shield pummel! You think you can stop me? You can't stop me. Picking that up. See, I have time in the middle of a fight to pick shit up, you lazy little bastard. Where's the third guy? There you are. Let's try this lightning blast again. Ah, I hit him! But I only did 46 lightning damage. See, it's it's dependent on my spell power, which is... not great. What do you think you're doing? Son of a bitch. Come back here. Don't you run from me. Anyway, <clears throat> the Konak Road comes back from the shadows. Well done, Elf. I knew you had potential. Why are you yelling at me? The rogue takes out, takes out his hood, takes off his hood, showing a fairly young but unmistakably battle-hardened man. The name's Reg. Really? I work for the arena to recruit great fighters who can give a good show and not die in two rows. You are one of those indeed. I won't keep you away from your adventures. I was there too long ago. But we can make you a true champion, beloved by many and bathing in diamonds. That sounds like it would hurt. Diamonds are sharp. I wouldn't want to do that. As you travel back to Dirth and company of the road, you discuss your battles in the forest. He provides you with great insight on your combat technique. Hell yeah! Plus two generic talent points? Very well, Dimlin. I must go now. Good luck in your advantage and come visit us when you are done. I will! Farewell for now. Awesome! Arena mode unlocked! Go away! Okay. <clears throat> Unlocked options, new game campaign, the arena challenge of the master. Cool! The arena, a way of violent entertainment. 
a delight for the audience, a source of wealth and glory, a place where aspiring fighters, former adventurers, and those cursed to fight eternally gather to hack away at each other. You've unlocked the arena, and can now create new characters in a new campaign, the arena. The arena pits you against multiple enemies in an open field, making your battle tactics important for survival. I do enjoy battle tactics. Campaign features. No quests, plots, friendly creatures, or ways out. Only you against all odds. Exclusive scoring system, where the faster you kill, the more you earn. Scores are kept for bragging rights. Pure heck, hack and slash mayhem! Your campaign becomes the new master of the arena, or your companion. Champion. Damn it, now I can read. I went to school. Your champion becomes the new master of the arena, allowing you to challenge your own com champions. Oh, that's cool. So you can become a champion and then come back and kick your own ass. In a time paradox. Let me get this money. And this bow. And I think that's it. And let me... The doors have been sealed off. How about this way? The doors have been sealed off! Back to Darth. Super cool. And we gained a level. Level. So, oh, no, we didn't gain a level. We just got two generic talent points. Those are going into combat training. Uh, thank you very much. Blue, blue. Armor training. So. Yeah, accept those changes. So that was cool. Um, I'm not sure how much I dig this, uh, I mean, the eel armor, I guess it works okay. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I'll have to try out this, uh, this lightning a little bit more in some combat situations. Situations. Oh, right. I need to check this out. Okay. Um, so my new quest is a Brotherhood of Alchemist. Um, I need a vial of squid ink. A pouch of luminous horror dust. And I need one Naga tongue. Best results occur with tongues never tainted by profanity, so if you happen to know any saintly Nagas. Really? There ain't nothing wrong with a little profanity every now and then, damn it. Um. Why is my life regen so high? I don't think I have... Oh, awesome! Fast metabolism. I didn't think I'd pick that up. I forgot. So, it's kind of funny. Um, like, I really wanted to wait until I had internet to do more of these episodes. But to be honest, I mean, this game is just so awesome that I've done... What is this, like, episode 5? I've done all 5 of these episodes in one day. Like... I mean, not really in one sitting, but pretty close to it. So, hang on a sec, I gotta... I'll be right back. Hey guys, do you know what's super cool, like my favorite thing in the world? When, uh, when my recording software just completely fucks up and then I can't recover any of the data that it lost. So, you missed me clearing this entire first floor of the Corpool Ruins. Um, we miss some other stuff too, like if we go into a logbook. Where's a journal? Oh, how do I get to lore? Here we go. Show norm lore. So you miss me reading these um, journals, which I'm not gonna do again. And you miss the letter to Rolf, and it's written by a guy named Weissman, and Weissman's a douche. But it was just, I mean. I don't really want to try to reread them to reenact all the things that I said, and, you know, the jokes that I made, because there's no way I can do it, but I also can't recover that video at all. I can't find it. I don't know where where it is. Just Camtasia was like, oh, what was that? Your ten minutes of audio and video? That's cool. That would be cooler. It's if I just crashed and lost everything. Oh, and by the way, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you find it in the, in the uh, auto recovery save files because that would be convenient. 
and I don't want to do that, so fuck you. Anyway. <clears throat> On to uh, more journals from this guy. So, the stuff that you missed before was basically, uh, there's a poor guy, and you know what, I might just go back and reread these, but... <clears throat> So it says, Lord found, journal page, Corpool. This place is infested. I found a lot of skeletons now, and unfortunately most of them have borne a full set of limbs. However, my holy quest cannot be denied. Plus, I got a really great sword off of one of the blighters. I I can chop anything up easily now. The skeletal mage, mages have been a night-born nuisance. But I found a new weapon to use against them. A phase door rune. As soon as I catch sight of one of the rogue wretches, I activate my room and boom, I'm away. It's not fling, it's just tactical repositioning. I tend to agree with that, but um... So we'll go ahead and go back and read this guy's other other thing. This guy's actually pretty funny. <clears throat> okay. So, it starts with... Damn that Zemeckis. Damn his insane experiments. Why in the blackest night did I ever agree to take part in them? Oh yeah, because I was broke. Bah. I think I might have considered things differently had I known I'd be te teleported without my clothes, though. Imagine my embarrassment turning up in a foreign land with my... my unmentionables on display. Thankfully, I managed to borrow a robe from a friendly farmer and did some work for him to earn gold. Uh, to earn gold enough for a bit of food, a journal, and a rusty old sword. When I heard the, there were ruins filled with undead nearby, I knew my calling had come. So here I am, mighty sun paladin Teltha, to prove my strength in these foreign lands of the West. But all I found so far is rats. I hate rats. It continues with, Ah, I have found the incursive undead that plagues this nefarious dungeon. The skeletal fool was thankfully no match for me. I suppose it helped that he had no arms. I found myself an old shield that, in spite of a few dents, seems serviceable enough. Some of these rats are big, and giving them a strong bash with the shield helps to stop their poisonous bites before I get my sword to their necks. I also found a few gems. I may have to hunt around for more. Not out of personal greed, of course, but my noble quest requires that I gather resources to defeat the great evils in this land and back home. Diamonds are my favorite. So sparkly. So, basically... The reason why this guy makes me laugh, or, you know, whatever, is, I mean, it's just, it's just so goofy, you know? It's like, he's, he's broke, so he's got, like, I don't know, like, he's trying to play it up, the guy who wrote this journal is trying to play it up, like, he's on this noble quest, I mean, come on, just admit it, you're poor. Well, I mean, he did admit that he was poor, but being poor is a perfectly legitimate motivation for a character. Ooh, hey! Money, 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 money. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's a few other things that I talked about in the missing 10 minutes of this video. Which, seriously, I mean, uh, I guess it's a sign that it's time for me to stop recording. Because, like I said, I've basically been playing this game for. All five, like, these these last five episodes have basically just been done in one sitting. Oh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna make me get... Fire damage for money? Okay. So, just kind of exploring. Ooh, this place is rife with traps. It doesn't really help that they're in positions that I have to walk. Like, right there. Ooh, yay, another journal page. <clears throat> so, core pool, core pool. When the farmer told me what this place was called, it reminded me of something, Starcraft, and I think it's coming back to me now. My mother used to tell me a story about our ancestors, how they fled by ship to escape the grasp of an evil sorcerer who dominated the lands. The sorcerer was a vile necromancer who took advantage of the destruction from the Spellblaze and the Cataclysm to create huge armies of undead. Is that word Spellblaze again? The people fought against him time and time again, but though he would be defeated, he would still come back to his lich, sometimes after hundreds of years. And that sorcerer's name was Corpul. Probably just a coincidence. Probably. But yeah, so, uh, Spellblaze, is, we've, we've seen that twice now. Um, obviously some significant event in the history of this world. 
Um, I should mention that even though I've watched a few of the Let's Plays, um, they didn't really get far enough, like, they didn't really examine the story of this game, so I don't really know what the significance of that is. Yeah, take them all. Um, so I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll discover that together. What the shit is that? A Weaver! Spiderkin slash spider. Rank critter. Level 7. Hit points. Smashed in the face. But yeah. <clears throat> so as I believe I mentioned in part of the video that wasn't obliterated, or maybe it was, I don't know, so I'll just re-say it. Um, I find story to be a very important part of, of any game. You know? It, uh, to me it really kind of helps get really immersed in the world. And I have to call... <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. So yeah. Um, but I don't know. I mean, like I said, I just find story to be, like, a, a, a well-written story, <laughs> actually, even, e even a, even a relatively shitty story can be, can be pretty engaging, um, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's continue on with our, with our dungeon crawl. Balls! You so, wow, he rocked my shit. Of course, I rocked him just as hard. That's a bastard. I wore off really fast. Use that again. Okay. So anyway, moving on. On to level two, or level three of this dungeon. Kick some blobby ass. Now, as experience tells us, this should be the last part of this dungeon. Delicious jelly! Um, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, a door. Open that door. Avoid the snake. Just slip right in here. Ooh, hello. Take that, rat. What is this? A pretty ring. I like shiny things. Um, auto explore. Explore, really? Running through the dungeon. Running through the dungeon. So we are poisoned, so get rid of that. I don't think this guy uses doors when he's an auto explorer. Ooh, yay, another journal page. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, reading these pages in dramatic voices is quite fun. <clears throat> it's quiet down here, and dark, very dark. I suppose I should have brought a lantern. Why wouldn't you bring a lantern? Our motto is to bring light into dark places, but I guess I should have thought about that in practical terms. I've placed out pretty much all of this. Uh, I've cleared out pretty much all of this area, and there's not much left to explore beyond this last room. This adventuring stuff is quite lonely, I must say. I guess keeping this journal helps a bit. I miss home, a lot now. I miss, I miss Falia. Perhaps I should have said something to to her about how I feel. But I guess running away on an adventure seemed easier. Pa! How brave of me. I'm not cut out for this paladin work. Here I am, alone in a horrible dark dungeon in an unknown land, without a single sound to keep me company beyond the scratchings of my own, own quill. Hmm. Except for... Gah! I never could figure out that last part. The gear was him getting stabbed by something horrible. Oop. Oh, damn. I'm getting all excited for a second. Damn, damn you! The shade hits me for 84 arcane. There you are. Hello! The shade, undead skeleton, rank boss, level 10. I'm noticing these things all have, all have around 500 HP. Anyway, this is fire and cold, lightning, a haughtiness of 30%. Only two armor, though. 
The skeleton looks nasty. There are red flames in its empty eye sockets. It wields a nasty sword and strides towards you, throwing spells. That's just... That's just irresponsible of you. Here, have a shield smash to the face. Perform critical strike. Did I kill it? No, I didn't. Okay, I was all super excited. Balls, 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 balls! Where are you running? Uh, we want to do six, and then five, and then this, and then shield smash. Don't run away from me, alright? If you run away from me, it makes it very hard to punch you in the face. I don't appreciate that. Uh, blind him, I guess. And then shield smash. Booyah! I kicked his ass. I picked up a crystal focus. Um, we have a file filled with darkness. I'm going to pick up that pickaxe. And then auto explore! I kick so much ass. Tra la 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 Something shot me with an arrow. Fuck you, something. There's a lot of mold in here. They should really see their cleaning lady about that. That's unacceptable. At the whole place? Aw, oh, sadness. Well, that was cool. Now let's actually get out of that and let's use this thing. Hello, Elsa. We have found the Watertide file. A file filled with darkness, yet it cleanses your thoughts. Or winter tide, not water tide. I can read. Okay. So, when wielded or worn, it gives you light radius plus one. Infrared radius plus six. Ooh, that's cool. What's infrared? No, tell me! It can be used to cleanse your mind, costing 40 power. Um... Oh, balls. Really? What? Oh. Well, that's stupid. I don't want to wear that. Holy crap. Wear this. There we go. I can see much farther. Stupid light file. Summer tide and winter tide. That's kind of cool. Blap, 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 What am I looking for? Rod of Recall. Use. So while we're waiting for that, we are going to go ahead and level up. And. Oont. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to put some more generic into my race points. Especially since these two are passive. And they give some pretty decent immunities. Um, so we're going to go ahead and increase repost and put another into armor training. Almost maxed. And we're just going to go ahead and dump all three of these points in the decks because why not? Uh, because we almost got rack lax time. We want some in <laughs> constitution. That's why not. Ah, oh, really? Physical crit chance? I kind of want that. Oh well. Whatevs. Speedy countdown. Ding. Back up to the first level. Cool. 
Um, so yeah, so that's next dungeon cleared. Um, I think that should be it for this episode. You know, we've, we've done a lot of the starter dungeons. We got to a pretty, pretty good level. I mean, you know, obviously we're only about a fifth of the way to max level. I didn't even see that. Each time you kill a creature that is over your own level, uh, you gain some experience. When you reach enough experience, you reach the next level. Maximum of 50. Okay, yeah, so we're about a fifth of the way to the max level, so, you know, we made we made some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent headway in these first five episodes. Um, so, I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. And, uh, you know, this, this game is, is definitely pretty awesome. I mean, um, if you didn't know about it before, um, well, I mean, I'm five episodes, I don't know why I'm all, all of a sudden doing the, oh, yeah, you should probably pick this game up, guys. I mean, it's free, so, whatever. You know, I mean, definitely, you know, everybody likes free shit. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's free. Download it. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, uh, thank you for joining me. Th thank you for joining me. That's not my usual ending. What is my usual ending? Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time.